Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Doctors often use x-rays to assess the severity of arthritis using the Kellgren and Loren system for classification of osteoarthritis. This is also called the KL grading system for osteoarthritis. It's graded on a scale from 0 to 4, with 0 being no signs of osteoarthritis and 4 being bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. Let's go through some x-ray examples of what these stages might look like. So here is an example of a KL grade 0 x-ray. Grade 0 is defined by the absence of x-ray changes of osteoarthritis. In this x-ray, I'm looking at the contours of the bones as well as the joint space. There's a nice space between the medial and lateral compartment as well as underneath the kneecap in the patellofemoral compartment. There are no osteophytes and no signs of sclerosis of the bones. This is an example of a KL grade 1 x-ray. Grade 1 suggests doubtful joint space narrowing and possible small osteophytes. Osteophytes are also known as bone bone spurs. They're caused by increased stress on the bone and occur due to the loss of cartilage. You can see here that the edges of the bone look a little pointy. These are the osteophytes or bone spurs. They tend to get bigger over time with worse arthritis. In terms of joint space, X-rays may show that the joint spaces are still preserved, but the underlying cartilage has already started to become weak. Now moving on to KL grade 2. X-rays here show definite osteophytes as well as the early signs of joint space narrowing. Grades 1 and 2 are what we term mild osteoarthritis, but even with mild osteoarthritis, the environment of the knee is starting to decay. Toxic enzymes and proteins, as well as inflammatory markers, are starting to get released into the joint, which go on to weaken and further damage the healthy cartilage. This is why osteoarthritis is a chronic progressive disease and tends to get worse over time. Most studies looking at osteoarthritis treatments are actually studying grades 1 and 2 osteoarthritis because this is the best time to intervene and to try to prevent the arthritis from getting worse. Now we move on into moderate osteoarthritis, which is KL grade 3. So as the arthritis gets worse, the cartilage between the bones starts to erode away. This causes joint space narrowing, which leads to sclerosing of the bones and even deformity at the ends of the bones. X-rays start to show multiple osteophytes as well as more and more joint space narrowing. And if the arthritis continues to get worse, then we end up with severe osteoarthritis and KL grade 4 x-rays. These show very large osteophytes and significant or even complete collapse of the joint space. There's significant sclerosis and deformity of the bones. Once you reach grade 4 osteoarthritis, there's very little we can do for treatment. Options mainly become palliative in nature, really designed to control symptoms. Ultimately, a knee replacement surgery may be required if pain is uncontrolled through non-surgical methods. We typically look at x-rays and give a grading for each of the three compartments in the knee, the medial compartment, the lateral compartment, and the patellofemoral compartment. This study estimates that 50% of people with knee osteoarthritis have it in only one compartment with the medial compartment being the most common. 33% of people who have knee arthritis have it in two compartments, and 17% of people who have osteoarthritis have it in all three compartments. Now here's the most important thing I want you to take away from this video. Doctors need to treat you, the patient and your symptoms, rather than you, your x-rays. I have many patients with moderate grade 3 arthritis who are still running half marathons. I also have many patients with grade 1 x-rays who have such a swollen knee that they can barely walk or put weight on their knee. Worse arthritis on x-rays do not necessarily correlate with what kinds of symptoms you feel or experience. Just because you have grade 1 arthritis does not mean you should wait until you have grade 3 or grade 4 arthritis before you start initiating treatment. Similarly, if you have grade 3 arthritis, you should not give up all hope and start preparing for a knee replacement surgery. It is still very possible to live an active and healthy life. So the question now becomes, how do we treat the symptoms related to knee arthritis and prevent it from getting worse? How do we protect and prevent the loss of more articular cartilage? You'll need to watch this video next where I go over my most recommended treatment options. I include the treatments that have benefits to the long-term structural integrity of the knee, as well as which common treatments to avoid because they've been shown to make arthritis worse over time. Check out the video next and thanks for watching.